Hey, what's up guys? It's been a little bit, um, but for this video, we're gonna go over what boots I have. A lot of you have been asking which ones I wear, which um, you know ones I prefer for riding, those types of things. So go ahead and start. For me, a boot has to withstand, uh, has to live up to what it's you know proclaimed to do. So for example, um, there's a brand out of Texas that I, I love the boot. It's Tecovas. It's uh, T-E-C-O-V-A-S. I'll put the link down below. And they're great boots. Don't get me wrong. They're great boots. They're handmade. Um, they're full leather. Ride motorcycles wearing these boots. And I can tell you that these boots have been worn for about six or seven months. And this is what they look like. You can see the heel. I mean, they're just not built for that. They're a great boot for going out. They're a great boot to wear to the bar. They're a great boot to wear, I don't know, on a date, whatever you got going on. Anyways, when it comes to ruggedness and something that's built to last, this is not the type of boot that I would wear for that. Not hating on it at all. I wear those boots all the time. I'm just saying that there are other boots that will withstand. You're gonna pay a lot more for them because these I believe fall around anywhere from like the 250 to the 300 range. You know, you can only expect so much for something that's being made at that price. So my go-to though is, you all know this, you probably seen these in my photos, Fry's. Fry Company has been making, in my opinion, the best boot that, I mean, you, you do, you spend, you know, you're gonna, these were, I think, 450. So for, for 450 bucks, you should expect a lot out of a boot, but these things will not let you down. And let me take off. I actually have them on right now. Well, these are the ones I wear in a lot of my photos. These right here. This is probably my favorite pair of fries I've ever had. Uh, my dad was actually wearing these and crashed a motorcycle wearing these exact boots that I loaned to him. Um, and they're still going. I, I highly recommend if you're gonna spend money on a boot, you can't go out wrong with Fry. So, let me put that one back on. So, moving on. To protect your boot, there's also another thing you can do. You'll have, they'll either be called, if you go on your Yelp or whatever in your area, you look for uh, a cobbler. A cobbler is a person who takes care of leather goods and boots. Um, they'll replace soles, fix tears, fix stitching, anything like that. Uh, they can become your best friend. They should be your best friend because they will take your investments and you'll be able to keep them forever. So at the bottom of these, you see these did not come with these pads on here. So it's called a, I believe they're called a, it's Vibram. It's like a Vibram sole. But what it is, it's just a thin, hard piece of rubber that goes on here and will actually protect the full sole of your boot. And then I always have these replaced as well on the heel before they get into the actual leather of the bottom of the boot. And this pretty much, I mean, I swap them out. I have on all the on all my riding boots, on every single pair of boots I have. These are a newly, this is a newer one on there. But that is how I keep a vintage looking boot because I like them worn out, I like them rugged, I like them looking tough. That allows me to keep them forever. So, uh, also, I guess something else to mention when you're looking for a boot, always look for a full leather boot. Uh, in my, my opinion, it's they age the best. Also, you get, it's called a patina, if you don't already know that already. That's a term of, you know, of aging leather. So this right here, um, that's one thing I do love about the Tacovas though, is like the patina. These are, they're whiskey boots, and I think they're, whiskey boots, they're uh, the uh, bourbon, sorry. So these age so well, I mean so well. And I get a lot of compliments on these boots. Like I said though, I would not recommend riding in them. You don't get a lot of support for that. All right guys, that's it for this week. For these boots, I will actually put the link to these boots so you can go and find them for yourself. And I hope that answers all your questions. I'll see you next week.